Hello one, I'm a comic book pen. And I'd just like to ask the community uh, just a question right now. Um, do you ever get like like lost uninspired to read or like you know, like you start accumulating a larger backlog of you just kinda of not burned out of reading, like get bored, like I find that quite often and it really gets annoying because I'm like wanting to read a lot but then I just can't seem to get myself to read because I'm just kinda of bored of reading and kinda of burnt out. I'm just wondering if anyone else in the combo community experiences that. So, uh, other than that, this is my poll is for this week. So, um, we're on issue number two is Stabby Buddy by Scout Comics. This issue is pretty average, I guess. Um, I thought it was okay. I mean, nothing exceptional. The premise was good, but it's not going anywhere well, and Scout Comics doesn't seem to work well with me, so. I haven't come across a Scout, Scout Comics comic that I've enjoyed a lot to get more than issue two or three. So, um, that's that. We got Paradiso. Yeah, I dropped this one too. Um, it's just not working for me. Um, I think kind of the concept, I'm just not sure what's going on in the story. It seems all over the place and scrambled and it just seems, just seems poorly executed to me. Got this one right here, Batman Sins of the Father, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it's based upon the Telltale Games, uh, Batman book, video game thing. And um, I'm actually really like the idea, and the story's really good so far. And I think it landed off cliffhanger, so I added my poll list. Got Batman the Brave and the Bold uh, with Wonder Woman, a six issue miniseries. I think that one also is a. She's not sure. Doesn't say on the cover, but uh, this was pretty good. I'm gonna add to my poll list to get more issues. Seriously. Okay, so Batman Forty One. This issue seemed really fast. Uh, I love Batman. He's my favorite comic book superhero. I guess comic book character like DC and Marvel, and uh, stuff. So I pick, keep picking this one up, but the story's kind of kind of gone downhill, and. Uh, I don't, those are really seem really quick and rushed issues, so I didn't really enjoy that one that much. This one right here, Lazarus Source Book Volume Three, Vaskalovka. Uh, I did not realize that was a. Uh, it was like basic. I'm gonna show you. It's basically a uh, like a magazine, and um, I didn't know that. So next time we'll be buying. So basically, it's like a magazine, so it's pretty interesting, and. I'm not that into Lazarus. You should read all the all this um, whole magazine. Um, I could if I really wanted to, but I'm just not that keen to read the whole magazine. So I should go into my collection and uh, probably never read it. <laughs> so a couple other books that I'm just not too keen to. This right here, Eternal Empire. Really enjoying this series, issue number seven, by Sarah Vaughn and Jonathan Luna. I love this duo. I love the art. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I like the simplistic look. Um, that's, so that's pretty good. And I, so right here, Evolution, number four. The art's not the my favorite, but the story's good enough to keep reading it, and it's a slow burn. I feel like it'd be much better in trade. But, uh, it's an interesting, kind of creepy, terrifying story about human evolution. Ice Cream Man, issue number two. This is the variant cover that I did. I was not able to get the first printing cover because I also didn't go to my shop. I get this shipped to me, and it's, um, it's almost a week from complex coming out, so sorry for having a delay also. So this is the variant cover ice cream man number two. Pretty good stuff there. I had sold out and good second printing again, so that's pretty cool. A Kong and the Planet of the Apes number four of six. I always think I'm not going to like this story, but then I end up loving it. It's a really good story actually so far, and if you're not picking this up, I would stress you check it out. Or wait for the trade, it's only going to be six issues. Get Regression Issue 7. Um, with Colin Bunn and Danny Luckert. Really like his art there. And it's pretty creepy. It's about past life regression and it's just getting better and you learn. This is, I should actually reveal a lot about the story, so that's pretty cool. I got the sender issue, where's the issue number 27. The, I think that's a variant cover, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not certain, so I need to check. check. I think it's a variant cover. I had the worst tape. One, I, so I had the worst tape. And it one piece always tears. Like, I think the cheapest darn tape ever. 
Tar VS, right? Right there. If you don't know, if you don't know how it says the cover on it, you go to the number. So, see that number over the second little barcode? 27027 means the issue number. Second next number is the cover number. So it's one is the first printing, two is the second printing, and the one is, no, sorry, two, one or two, and the third, the fourth number over means it's the, it's the uh, variant cover. So if one is the first cover, cover A, two is the cover B, and then so on, so on. The one is the first printing. So that's the first printing of the cover B of issue 27, basically. So most image comics, I think, do that. I'm not sure if, it's if DC does that. I uh, know. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it does do that. Let's see if this Batman does that. Yes, it does do that. You know, Batman covers the variants though, so. That's it for this haul. Um, I'll just put some out so you can look at. I hate when people don't put things up in the video and just ramble. So that's for this haul. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you consider subscribing. And also, I just want to know if anyone over has those goes in like a funk that and they can't seem to read anything, or right, just just lose interest for a little bit. I've been in this funk for about a week or so, and it's been really annoying. And then again, this funk, this funk, all too awesome, often. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you subscribe. Goodbye.